Hi guys, so today I have this new little printer from Munbean. They did send this free of charge for my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box would be affiliate links, which means I make a small commission. If you were to purchase items through those links. So for this one, it does Excuse go me, to, sorry about that. So this one does go to Amazon. Um, and it's just a new printer that Munbean had came out with, and let's check it out. So it says Perry Page Mini A6 Printer, and as you can see, it looks like a little bear, kind of like our other uh, mini printer. So this one will make... Um, I was kind of looking into it like labels, um, sticker labels, some are just paper, so it just depends on what you want to do um, with your printout that you can pop in those kinds of things that will help you do that. Uh, of course it is going to be run by like your phone or a tablet. Um, I suppose anything that has an app store, it, it's Bluetooth, just like the, um, the other little printers. And as you can see there's like little arrows here that say like up and down. So basically we do that, and that's how we open it up. It's already loaded with um, some paper. I'm trying to see if this is paper or... It looks like it's just paper. I don't think it has an adhesive on the back. So again, thermal paper. Um, and how long the uh, image will last, I suppose, depends. It does say on there, you know, when you read through, like, the info on it. Um, you want to keep it from like extreme heat or extreme humidity. Now the labels that I have for my other little machine, um, this little guy, uh, are plastic wrapped and things like that. I have them on my kids water bottles. I wash them. They've been using them for months now and the name is still on there clear as day just like at the beginning. But these labels are a little bit different in that they are plastic coated um, and they're waterproof. I don't use a dishwasher so I do not know that these can go through the dishwasher and it'll still be okay but uh, I hand wash things and of course hot water and everything so and the kids take them to school and it's hot outside so I don't know you know um, with thermal printing I think it's come a long way as opposed to maybe some of the older uh, things that would print out but it does come with um, your charging cable and USB of course and then it has a micro USB, I guess, is what it's on the other side here. Uh, there's a little information. Now, I've already downloaded a program from before from this guy. Uh, I don't know if it's the same program that runs this one, but if it is, then I will not have to download it again. I'll have a link to the other video just in case we need to go through those steps. But um, just quickly, if you look through here, um, you can skip over to whatever language it is that you're comfortable checking out. Uh, lots of languages in here. Hold on. And... So that's in Spanish, which is fine for me, but just trying to see where we need to be at. Maybe I skipped over it. I did. So English is the first one. I totally skipped over it. So I already showed you how you're going to open this up. Again, this guy goes up, this side goes down, and it opens up. Pop in whatever it is that you want to put in there. And I'll close this back up. So there's that. So I want to make sure I have it closed up nicely. Um, it does talk about the paper loading that um, it's going to... Let me open that up for you guys again just to have a good look at it in case you're not sure. So it's rolling out this way. Okay. And I'm leaving it the way it is, the way it was loaded when it came. And then you press the cover close. Clean the printer head. Please turn off the printer and take out the paper inside. Dip a cotton cloth. That's if you want to clean it off. Um... I don't think I need to do that right now, but it says to do it with a little bit of alcohol. And then there you go. And it looks like whenever it's a new set of whatever it wants you to do, it's going to go through the different languages. So I'm just checking this guy out. And that's it. Not too many instructions in here. I am going to turn this on just for... I'm going to hold that down. It does come with a charge, it looks like. I'm curious as to see like what this is, just a decoration. Okay. Again, charging it here. It's on now. I'm going to turn that off for a minute. Usually you hold it down. It's gone. Um, these are refills. Uh, these are refills that uh, Munbean just sent over. Um, just so I can try them out. There is a 10% off code for the uh, machine itself with the roll that comes in it. Uh, I'll have that in the description box. I believe it runs to the end of November, but the expiration date will be there too so pretty much for the rest of the year almost and um, it would be for the the main printer okay if you're interested in that but I did want to show you some of the little um, refills that you can also pick up again this prints much larger so this one has like a little decorative edge 
You can see that there. And then this one is just the white paper. This is sticker paper. So you can kind of see that it's on sticker paper there. This one is just normal paper. Or what you consider normal paper, but it is kind of slick. It has a different feel to it, but it's not sticky on the back. So this one has that same design, but like a reddish pink. This one has the same design, but like in the purple. And then this one is also sticker paper, and it's a blue. And then another uh, white. And there are different um, rolls that you can pick up to go in there. I believe you do need this same size roll for all of them. This paper is a, just over two inches wide and then super long, of course. It's many yards there. So what I'm going to do is bring my phone over and um, get to kind of playing with this. Okay, so I was going through the book here and it looks like actually page seven. English slash page seven is where everything, all the info is. We already checked that out as far as uh, green light is on, fully charged. This is kind of what we had checked out earlier with the USB. Um, of course, you plug it in here. This little guy goes in here. This goes into your USB charging port or however you want to charge it. Um, it does say to download this app. That's on page eight. Uh, Perry page, or you can scan this. And let me see if my phone will recognize this guy real quick and so this is my phone <laughs> of course uh, I don't really use this kind of thing very often so let me just see if I can even how I do this um, there we go mm, it wants to open it in Safari so I don't want to do that so let me go into my app store and see if I can scan it from here search today let me see here you know I'm a dinosaur so I'm just gonna look it up but I have a feeling it's gonna be the same thing that ran my other one before so Perry page and Perry page mini printer it's right here I already have the foam memo one for this guy but I'm just gonna get the one that it's recommending so I'm going to let that um, load because it has like my info here and I'll be back. So I'm going to click open and I just want to make sure, okay, we're going to go English and Perry Page would like to use Bluetooth and I'll say, okay. So I just want to make sure my Bluetooth is on. It is on already. And now it's just saying lots of different things and there's lots of, you know, uh, it does say here for app printing, turn on the device, follow the Perry Page app prompts to search and connect printer or double click the power button to print the QR code, then use the app to scan the code to connect to your printer. Um, mine's going to pick it up on the Bluetooth probably, but what they're saying is, let me turn this on. All right, it's on. If you click this twice, it should print. Um, <laughs> that is so cute. That's our first little print, and basically it's just a QR code <laughs> for um, for you to scan it, and then it'll hook up that way. But if that's what you like, there it is. Um, gosh, I don't know what I want to do. This is device connection, so it's already it's searching for it, but basically that's, yeah. Since the Bluetooth was on, it already found it, you know. Um... Let's see, what do I want to scan or print? Um, notes and images. Click here, you can print to uh, the content. Okay, I know. Click here, you can modify the text and size. Okay. Um, let's... This is interesting. So can I just do whatever I want? Yep, okay. So let's uh, undo that. And obviously this is very... Mm. There we go. Okay, let's just say that. Uh, obviously, this is very <laughs> basic. This is not... I'm just trying to see what we can do. Uh, and then, of course, there's, like, colors. But it's going to print in black and white anyway, so... Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to print it. It's doing his little <laughs> pirouette there. And I'm assuming I press this. There's that. A little bit rough, but that's how it printed. You guys can take a look at that. Okay, let's try something else. I don't want to save it. Um, 
I'm going to click on photo printing and see what it does. So select photos, allow access to all photos. Okay, I'm going to press allow access to all photos. And of course, there's like my kids, but I'm going to bring it over here. And try to choose a picture. I'm just going through my own images here. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I want. <laughs> Uh, mm, uh, let's say, let me go through my photos, I'll choose one, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just pressed on this one of a bag that I've been making, so let's see what happens. Confirm that. Cut number selection. Oh, interesting. So you can start like making like little um, collage type things. So that's kind of cool. Um, adjust, we have a filter. I'm just going to go for print. But, well, let me look at the filter. I will say this way you can control what you're going to look like when you do actually print it. You see how it changes? Let me get a little bit closer. Hmm. No, that's too much. And you can also adjust it, it says. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you can kind of play with that. Like that's a little more looking like what I had there. My hand's in the background. Let's just say print. So that's on a piece of paper. It looks like that. And again, you can put glue on this and stick it down or just tape it down with washi or whatever you're going to do. Kind of interesting. Okay, what I want to do is... Um, I don't know if I can do it right now. Let me turn this off. And I'm going to switch this out. And of course, that's what comes with it, right? The paper. But I'm going to try something different. So that paper feels very much like writing paper. Um, okay, this sorry, one, I don't know where I was because I was going to open this up and try a new type of printer stuff, but um, I didn't want to confuse anybody because when I had opened it, it didn't know that, you know what I'm saying? So I had turned it off and then it didn't register. So let me just do that again. So basically, I'm going to use like um, this sticker paper and we'll try it on this and see how it is. So the other paper, again, is like paper paper, kind of like writing paper. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this whole thing because it has like stickiness. So... Again, we opened it up. I'm going to pop this in here. Again, it does have a little picture there of how it rolls. Sorry, and that's hard to see maybe. And I'm going to close that up. I'm just going to tear that off and turn this back on. And then I will open up the app again. Okay, so now that this turned on, I'm going to Make sure it's on there. It's searching for a device right now. And it's connected. Okay, so I'm going to go through my pictures again. Go back to that same, you know, image that we did here. And print it out on this uh, printer paper, or sticker paper, and see. But I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back here. And we want to print. And it says moderate picture printing. So you have density settings. It's on moderate, so I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> and then we'll just say print. Oh, this is interesting stuff. Do you see it's blue? <laughs> what? That is very interesting. Um, that's actually really, really cool. <laughs> I did not know it was going to do something like that. That's interesting. Okay, so I am going to just get out of here. Again, this print's obviously in black and white. Um, I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, or if it's just as cool that it's blue. That is... Very good. Uh, again, the initial roll will be in here. It's the printer paper, just like we saw here. I'm going to kind of play with this a little bit more and see about, I don't know, label sticker. Oh, okay, cool. So it also has the ability to do labels, but you have to have the label stickers, right? So it would be more like what comes with these guys, but it's going to be on a roll like this and then just, um, you know, separate labels. So we don't have that right now. So I'll just get out of there. But again, you can play with that. We have notes notes and images and let me see what I can find here that I can print right now oh my goodness you're kidding <laughs> let's 
let's see. If we have that little guy. He is adorable. What is going on? Oh. Oh, I like that we can kind of mess with it here as far as sizing. But you can also probably play with it a different way. Um, okay, let's print that guy. <laughs> and then you can also add some text or, you know, do it different things. Put more things in there. I'm just kind of playing with this just to see what it can do. Um, number of prints, one. Density is me medium. That's fine. We'll see. I'll do the next one in a higher density just to see what that looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's do the higher density because I don't know what it really does, if it does anything. Um, let's print that. Now, do you guys see a big difference between those two? Maybe. I mean, this one might be a little bit darker. Is that just me? This is adorable. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to switch out the paper again. When you open it up, it kind of like disconnects and all that. So what I'm going to do is just turn this off. And we'll try again from that refill pack one of the other uh, papers. That's pretty cool. I love that that has color. Um, again, this is an extra thing you can add on. I'm just going to open this up and get past like, you know, where it's been on here. Kind of not the nicest. And close that up. Nice and close. Tear that extra off. And let's see what we can do. Again, I'm just going to reconnect it, basically. Uh, no, I don't want to save that as a draft. And see, it says not connected because we had turned it off. So I'm going to turn it on and just reconnect it. Of course, I probably wouldn't be switching back and forth this quickly between things. I would print a bunch of whatever is I want to print. Um, you can still do labels on this. So you're just going to tear it or cut it off at every you know section. So like, let's say you want to do like address labels. You could still print it. Um, and go from there, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's do, what is this banner? I'm just, uh, interesting, hmm. I don't know what this does, but let's save DNA creates. Okay, and estimated link 28. Oh, interesting. It's just gonna make a very long strip right let me see well let's see what happens <laughs> let's just go for it wow <laughs> all right i'm gonna let this guy keep printing and i'll be back but as you can see it's gonna print a banner so it's like a label it's really long oh my gosh okay i'll be back <laughs> So that didn't take too long. I just wanted to take a little pause there because, you know, it's just doing its thing. But, wow. I, I did not expect any of these things. <laughs> I didn't expect, like, this to be blue and super cool on there. You know, look at them. And then uh, you might want to ask, like, okay, how are you going to use it? I would, you know, then you can cut it with whatever you like. Oh, well, let me see. Since I'm using my pinking shears for paper anyway. I mean... Super cute. Now this guy, you are gonna have to find, you know, a piece to let you get in there, but that wasn't too bad. And now I can stick it on something. And honestly, I just have my Cricut machine sitting in front of me, so I'm gonna stick it on there. It's right here. Um, Cause he's a little cutie. Oh my gosh, it feels kind of plasticky. I don't know if it's a plastic base like the other um, labels are but this for sure is paper sorry guys um yeah so it has like a bit of a coated feeling but not really it feels mostly like paper i mean this is super cool i i, I again these are my first impressions so i'm just kind of playing with these things and especially what's in that refill pack but this is really really cool um again you know thermal printers it seems like they're coming a long way i am super blown away by that um this printed okay the regular paper that came in the bundle like this one looks a little bit harsh but again maybe if i print it with a thicker density or whatever it might um do that a little bit nicer and then you know it's whatever it is that you want to use it for i mean these are my first impressions i'll continue using it just like i continue using this i've used the labels in here to make return address labels um 
again, stuff for my kids, you know, lunches on their water bottle that they use every day and I wash every day and it still looks great. So whatever they have, I think that would come out for this would be comparable, I, I would assume. Again, this is paper, so it's a little bit different feel. Um, you can take this, cut it up, do whatever you want, you know, glue it into your journals or however, whatever it is that you want to print up, words. Um, let me see one more thing before I go. Okay. As far so, as words and again, there's tons of things. Text scanner, uh, photo printing, template. I mean, template just let's see oh, again super cute let's say you just want to print a little something you're gonna write some notes on let's just do one real quick let's to-do list oh downloading just give it a second okay so this is what that looks like it's kind of interesting because over here it has like all this with the three little spaces and I click that and then we have this and it has the one space so I'm sure there's different ways to play with this and interact with it but for now I'm just going to go and print just because I want to see what this looks like I'm sure you can type something in there and let's just say I want to print that <laughs> so cute yeah, thanks for watching thing. I just kind of wanted to get a little more familiar with this I will continue playing with it I will follow up with you guys of course with different things and yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mumbin, for sending these items for review. Again, I, I just got to play around a little bit and see what all else. I mean, I was kind of blown away by these things here. Um, really cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. And if you have any questions that I can answer, maybe by the time I've done this video and uploaded it, I have a few more answers for you all. I'll do that. But I'll definitely follow up with um, a video um, other than the first impressions. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you.